That's so stupid. I hate it when they spell my name wrong. My name is Matt, and it is very derogatory when you call me dishwasher. Lave Vicelles, Lava Vajala. That is not my name. My last name is not Lava Vajalas. We're gonna be fumble tinning our way through a dishwasher install today. Let's go bring that dishwasher in and see what we're working with, I guess. Let's see what kind of warnings we have today. Just like in the movies, you don't wanna be Harry Potter and drunk. We don't like the number six. Six is bad. I don't have a riding lawnmower with a giant rolly luggage, so, um, I will not do that. I surely will not roll the luggage upside down, so no. I won't turn my lawnmower into luggage. Not two walls at the same time, got it? Uh, definitely not six walls with two at the same time. And I guess we can't do our own little missile silo where they blast off. Very confusing instructions. I actually question what's in this box. It's really unfortunate that this is how we have to reset the injury counter. But when you're cutting something and you cut, like, you know, you cut, don't immediately punch your column outside your home. Welcome to the weird corner of our kitchen that we keep the dishwasher. The previous owners of our home, um, they ran it like some sort of rat mouse breeding sanctuary where they let all the rats that poop the most live here in the corner. And then eventually when their dishwasher failed and started leaking, that turned all the poo into some sort of rat hot tub pool situation that I would can imagine was glorious for the rats, but for everyone else that was trying to avoid the Black Plague, oh, maybe it was fun for them too, I don't know. Step one, well, step one, has something to do with the waterline hookup. Uh. What is going on? How does that even connect? Okay. Step two, or dose, has something to do with like an electrical connection and then something to do with like a drain line. I don't, don't dig into this too deeply. How does this, why is this, what is going on? Oh, that's, that's got a unique smell to it. Step four is actually making sure the power isn't on. Ta-da! Oh man, you probably just shocked yourself, didn't you? That's my guy, girl. That's my person. Using a torque screw to hold the electrical box together isn't going to keep me from messing with the electrical box. It's just going to annoy me into submission and get a Torx anyways. I guess I gotta get up for that. Ah, ah, ah. Remember to test for power. You gotta do a quick zap because if you just hold it on there, well, that's unsafe. You don't want to hold your finger on power for too long, I think. I don't know. Just do whatever. I'm not gonna yell at you. Step seven is even more complicated. There's a handle that goes on the front and somehow you have to attach it, I guess. Maybe you don't, I don't know. Nah. Step nine and three quarters. Oh, this is a satisfying one, people. Yep. Yeah. Go on. Go on. Step is actually quite nice. It's just you enjoying a nice beverage in a chair. But you haven't finished your dishwasher yet, no. But you deserve a break. Dang it. Come on. People are watching, dude. Pull it together. Come on, don't embarrass me. Come on. Let's go ahead and load this bad boy up and see what she can do. We've turned the water back on and so far nothing's on fire yet. Now we gotta load this guy up some dirty dishes that I've been avoiding doing for at least a week because I kept telling myself there's a dishwasher on the way. Little did I know that the dishes would get super gross in the sink and I would feel bad about myself. Go as high as possible, you don't, oh, okay, yeah. You just wanna see how far you can get it before you make a lot of mess. Oh, yep, yeah, that's a lot of mess, sure. Just put it in there until you feel good about the amount. Don't really look too deep into how much you put in it. Just eyeball it, you know. Oh yeah, some pieces fell off already. That's a good start. So I guess be sure to check for any extra wheels you have lying around on the bottom. And then just throw them back in there. Don't put them in the right spot. Just throw them back wherever you think they should go. I think it goes here. Yep, that's where that one went. Oh, something else fell off too. This is just getting the gift that keeps on getting worse.
Wow. That was intense. Let's see if our hard work paid off. So, she turns on. That's half the battle here, folks. Normal. 311. I'm not really a big 311 fan. Sublime if I have to listen to either of them, but whatever, sure. And then, um, heat dry. Sure, why not? Start. Bye, little dumplings. I'll see you in 311. Are you taking off the American sticker? Yes. You mean you're putting another American sticker on it, right? How are we going to know that it's made in America, by Americans, for Americans, actually out of Americans? Little bits and pieces of them. It'll be okay. So you now here we are. Look at this bad boy. This is part of the bad boys club. That thing is just working it. Doing whatever dishwashers do. Dishwash. We still got this to install and that'll make it a little bit quieter, but we're going to check for leaks first because I don't trust it, I don't trust my own work, I don't trust anything in this situation, but I do trust that I got it level. Like, don't look at this countertop too much or any of the angles that are happening here. They're just made up numbers and angles, that doesn't matter. So if you like all this nonsense and watching me fumble through the installation of a dishwasher, you should subscribe. If you don't like it, well, you should not subscribe. I wish you the best.